Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how can you query your questions or how can you ask questions to YouTube video. And this we are doing using the new loader which was introduced by Langchain and that is YouTube loader. So let's quickly see how we can perform this activity. So I am on my VS code and here I have already written few lines of code. The first thing I am doing is I am importing the OS because I want to set the environment variable for my OpenAI API key. And once that is done, first of all we need to load the document loader and in this case it is YouTube loader. Then we need to provide the URL of the YouTube. So make sure that you are providing only YouTube's URL. It's not going to take any other URL because as its name suggests it is YouTube loader. And once the once we have that URL, we can quickly call the YouTube loader, which will take two parameters URL and add info, add video info. So add video info will tell you some more metadata about your video, like who published this, how many views, and all those things. So if you do not want that, you can just set it to false. Then it is calling the loader and generating the transcript so for generating the transcript it is just taking page content because it this is the property which is holding the actual text of our youtube that is the actual transcript so let me quickly show you how it looks like so first of all i am going to show you how many documents are generated all together so it's next we will see what is inside this document so let me set it to zero and as is only one document i can give this as zero and here you can see the page content so this is the one which i am using to create the transcript or which i am using to create grab the text out of my video so here you can see this is what i was speaking in this particular video and if you will scroll down further you will see that it is also telling uh, giving information about view count thumbnail who is the author what is the length of your video when was it published and all these things and these all details are coming just because i'm setting it as true so if you will set it to false you may not see all those details so this is the one thing and once this part is done we will go ahead and just chunk our document so if you are having many documents then it will, you may see many chunks but in my case i'm just having one so we may not see much about that and here the chunk size I'm taking is 2000 and taking the overlap of 100 so that I do not miss anything here. Okay, so it's done. If you want, we can quickly check how many docs are generated. So there are five total documents which are generated out of one single YouTube video. Okay, now once the documents are generated, next thing is we need to generate the embeddings and save it into our vector store. So this is how we are using the OpenAI embeddings wherein we are passing the OpenAI key. And this is the chroma which is in memory storage I am using to store my vectors. Let me quickly execute the cell as well. Okay. And do keep in mind what all uh, packages I am importing over here. Okay, so in next line, I am using vector dbqa, but you can also go ahead and use retri retrieval qa. Let me run this because this is the like same line which we have discussed a lot many times. We are using chaining mechanism wherein we are saying which LLM we want to use, what is our chain type. And again, this chain type, you can change it based on what kind of data you are reading. So if you are looking for summarized thing and the content is too huge, you can just go with map reduce or refine. And then here is the vector store, which we just figured it out in above statement. Let me run this one as well. And now comes the question part. So let's say if I'm asking a question, what is this video about? So the model will run and it will tell me what actually this video is about. And this all is based on what I'm speaking in that particular video. So this video is about how to create a chatbot using Azure Open AI, Azure Storage account and Azure AI Studio without writing a single line of code, which is absolutely correct description. Now let me try out one more question, which is probably it's not related to this or I have not said even a single word about this. So is speaker from USA? And let's see what it has to say. 
I don't know that is perfectly all right and this is what we are expecting let me try one more question which is technically related to this video but or we can say it's not completely outside the context so does this video talks about function app let's see what it has to say about this thing so definitely we are not talking about function app so no the video does not talk about function app so you can see that how nicely it is segregating so rather than saying i don't know it is saying no the video does not talk about function app and this is what the exact and the relevant answer which we are expecting so i hope you enjoyed this video and you are able to extract details from your youtube video as well as you can query your youtube video so this video i have done for just one youtube uh, one video but definitely you can generate a list of videos and do it for a lot many videos in one shot so if you are watching this channel for the first, very first time make sure to subscribe it and give me a thumbs up if you really enjoy watching this content thanks for watching